What's going on, everybody? This is Maximilian. Merry Christmas. Happy Christmas if you're from the UK. Happy Hanukkah if you're Jewish. Happy holidays if you really don't care. And happy Halloween if you're a few months late. So, I got some free time on my hands, and that means it's time to do some Magic the Gathering. Because everybody loves magic. I mean, come on, who couldn't love magic? Now, we have two choices for opponents today, and given the festive nature of the season, even though she is a green-black planeswalker, she is more Christmassy than the straight-up black Soren Markov. So we're going to go with Nissa Ravain. Mm, stick with Wielding Steel, because really this deck has just been money for us the entire time, and I have uh, no sense of that being able to change anytime soon. At least hopefully not. I mean, we can only ride this streak of luck for so long before I just get blown out, am I right? <laughs> Alright, what do we got here? That's... Ooh, Baneslayer Angel! Freaking sick! Oh, that is going to be huge in winning this. Like, Bree Lands is awesome. I wish I had a Gideon's Lawkeeper in this hand, but just because Bane Slayer's in this hand, I'm going to keep it. Because if we can curve into that, we're pretty much guaranteed to win. I'm not sure what kind of removal she has in the deck, but I haven't seen much of it so far. So, if she does have any removal, it might not even be enough to deal with the Bane Slayer Angel. And we can just ride that to victory, because that thing just turns the game around. Oh, if we rip a Stoneforge Mystic. I love you too, deck. I love you too. Oh, throw out a trusty machete. Because we can. Pass the turn. We're going to take one damage from Nissa Ravain here. But the uh, most critical thing to beating Nissa Ravain is to keep her in check. Because she just drops tons of... Mm, excuse me, tons of L's into the table. And since it's a tribal deck, tribal decks tend to have a lot of synergy amongst creatures that share the same creature type, hence the, th hence the name Tribal. So, if she puts a lot of elves under the table, especially Heedless One, that one's gonna suck if she ever gets that on the table. Um, we're in a bit of trouble, so we need to keep her from setting up her board as much as humanly possible. And Core Hookmaster and Stoneforge Mystic should do a pretty good job of that. I think I'm gonna go Stoneforge Mystic here. Now, I know it's a little greedy, and I've got four mana, but I'm, I'm really tempted to take our Gentle Armor just because it's our only real surefire cop-out to any kind of big threat she has. Sword of War and Peace is exceptionally good, though. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't give us protection from anything in her deck, so I am a little hesitant to go grab it. Mm, I will take... Let's take the Argentum Armor just to be safe here, because if we, if we top deck War and Peace... That's cool, sweet, we got an awesome equipment, but I'd much rather have a specific out ready to go in my hand than trying to hope and draw it later. Just because I was going for a slightly more efficient equipment. Mmm, she has Eye Blight's ending. Okay. Well, it's a good thing she's using that on my Stoneforge Mystic, because, um... Honestly, I really don't care about that right now, because I don't have nearly enough mana to equip that Argenum Armor. However... I do have enough mana to play other things. I'm going to hold on to this arrest because I none of those guys really matter at all right now. It's just a 1-2 and a 1-1. One, one. They have no special abilities, and I really want to save that for the minute a heedless run enters the battlefield. Um, I really don't even think I want to play anything. I mean, I guess I want to play something. I don't want to play the kite sail, though. It just doesn't feel like I'm doing anything. Uh, let's just play the core hooked master. We'll tap down the 1-2. Just to see if I can get in for some beats next turn. Maybe even equipped beats, which would be very nice. Because I highly doubt she's going to block with any of her creatures. She likes to be super aggro and attack with everything she has at any given time. Mmm. Imperious Perfect. Now that's a card I'd like to arrest. Because that thing just poops out little 2-2 two -two elf tokens. Effectively because of its plus one plus one bonus. And the longer that thing stays on the board, the... Uh, more closer we get to death. Let's go ahead and arrest that. Alright, um... I don't want to attack because I'd rather equip it and then attack with it. Uh, actually, you know what? I have a land in my hand. I'm going to be curving into Baneslayer Angel next turn anyway, so if she really wants to block and trade, I'm actually okay with that. Let's go ahead and attack with the Core Hook Master. Yep, she's, she's chumping. That's fine by me. Less fuel for the heedless one. See, the tribal decks are all about getting as many creatures of your same tribe onto the board as possible. 
And you can develop really good board states with lots of creatures in the same tribe, but at the same time, just little individual pieces don't tend to do much. They're, they're very synergistic and they're dependent heavily on that synergy. Whereas with this white deck, if I can just drop one solid threat, I can just throw that threat at her constantly over and over again until she has something to deal with it. And then by then I should have something else to throw on the board. So yeah, we're definitely going Bane Slayer Angel here. Because that card just takes over games, especially with lifelink. Not only that, but it blocks like a champ. Seeing as how it has first strike, she's got to throw something with at least six toughness at me in order to do anything. Okay, Elvish Visionary is a random cantrip, so I don't care about that at all. Ah, uh, yes! Yes! Cast the Argentum Armor. Okay, now we are in business. Now we have enough mana to readily equip that, and we can just start shooting all of her threats as they come into play. The first thing I want to get rid of, though, even though it is currently arrested, is that Imperious Perfect, because it's giving a tribal bonus to all the elves that she has in play. And it's a little annoying. I really would rather not have to deal with that. And she's probably going to swing back because she knows she can't block, so she might as well get in. This is where Baneslayer Angel really shines, because Lifelink just almost completely negates any kind of offensive effort uh, Nissa's going to do, because the tribal deck usually attacks with a bunch of small creatures, and unless she has a very well-developed board, it's just not going to be able to make any progress whatsoever. Now, let's see what I have here. Oh, Core Duelist would be fantastic with uh, our Genom armor, but I really want to equip that to Baneslayer Angel since I can just fly over everything. Yeah, let's equip that to Baneslayer and destroy something. Okay, sure. Uh, the fact that she's given that plus one, plus one really doesn't matter. <laughs> Does not matter at all, because I'm going to fly right over it. Alright, uh, attack. And I have a trigger. Uh, let's get rid of the Imperious Perfect. Nice. And now she's going to take a bunch of damage, and I'm going to gain a bunch of life. And I really can't see any way out of this for her. I am pretty sure she's just dead. Yep, she knows it. She's just going to swing with everything for giggles, but it's not going to make a dent in my life total because of the stupid amount of life I'm gaining right now. Man, that is a deadly combo. Baneslayer Argentum Armor, are you kidding me? Like, in this game, that's practically cheating. Alright, she's going to make a bunch of 1-1 one -one elves that don't do anything. Because I'm pretty sure that everything in her deck is ground-based, and I'm pretty sure nothing in her deck has flying, so... As long as nothing in her deck has flying, I just win. Um... You know what? Just for giggles, I'm gonna throw out Gideon's Lawkeeper. And Kite Sail. And everything else in my hand. Because it really doesn't matter. Kite Sail will help me to fly over and win the game, even if she somehow kills my Bane Slayer Angel here. Uh, I want to. I don't want to. Well, I don't want to kill that. Um, kill your one. Kill your one too. Why not? It doesn't matter. Ah, victory! And we are one planeswalker closer to getting to, I guess, what we would call the boss planeswalker of the game, who is Karn, the Silver Golem. And the stupidly cheaty face deck that he has just absolutely broken how powerful his deck is. But that is another duel for another time. Thanks for joining in again, as per usual, guys. You're the best. I love it when you watch the videos. I love it when you comment. And I love it when you throw random funny anecdotes at me. So send me a message or leave a comment. Write me something funny. Maybe some kind of funny story that you had over Christmas. Uh, something that happened to you recently, or maybe it's just a cool joke. Leave a comment, because that's always awesome when I read comments. I like it when you participate. So, thanks for tuning in again, guys. Until next time, this is Maximilian. See you later.